Okay, by now you should have read the article on the ideal page weight here. And from this article, most people in our time consider 500 kilobytes or less to be acceptable. Now, depending on what your end user is viewing your web page at, that may or may not be the better choice, 500 kilobytes. So it's important to understand that that maximizing your user interface is always important. But of course, we really can't figure out what we need to maximize or more specifically optimize in terms of our page unless we know how big or how much uh, time it takes to load our particular web page. So what we're going to do and what you must do from your instructional design menu, let me just pop over to that for a second here, in your instructional design area, I want you to create two new lines here, one for image optimization. Each one of these will eventually link out to its own page, which will showcase your work on each of these three topics. But I also want you to put a piece in here called page size of working portfolio before optimization. So I want you to grab um, some statistics on your particular portfolio page before you change anything. So to do that, what we're going to do, and this is actually a tool that you'll use throughout this week's exercise, is there are many online tools and certainly browsers can build in some tools and there's all sorts of different ways to figure out how big a web page is. But for this week I'm going to showcase Pingdom. Now there are some others here in this online website testing tools. Feel free to use a different one if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and use Pingdom. Now, um, before I do that, I'm going to come out here to my web page and I'm going to go ahead and copy that URL and then I'm going to go to Pingdom and once I'm here at Pingdom, I'm going to paste that website in there and click on Test Now and it's going to run through a relatively quick test and it's going to show me some statistics about this particular website. Now, in terms of or considering the theory of responsive web design. Responsive web design is where we can actually build additional cascading style sheets to either limit or load or present differently content so that if I were um, concerned about my users who were coming to my site on say a smartphone, I might want to build a CSS style sheet that eliminates this background altogether. Perhaps I think that on the smartphone they don't need that background necessarily and in truth they don't and more importantly it is the thing that is taking up the bulk of my weight in this particular page. Now overall 366 kilobytes is certainly under the 500 that you've just read is somewhat of a norm. You just read that in the article that we just talked about. Um, in our w weekly readings here. But again, there's always room to optimize your page. Optimization is a balance between making the graphic look good in terms of the function of your web page as well as being sensitive to the fact that your users might be coming in under different circumstances than yours. They may not have a high-speed internet connection. They may be coming in on a data uh, plan for a smartphone. They may be coming in under a very restricted data connection and so therefore you want to make your page as light as possible and that is one of the kind of holy grails of web design is to make your page look good but also to be as light as possible. Now for this particular exercise what I want you to do is go ahead and get this uh, report back on your portfolio before you change it and I want you to create a PDF of that page and then I want you to link it from your instructional design page. Now if you need a refresher on how to create a PDF go back to week two when I discuss downloading QPDF and creating the PDF file. Now you do not need to re-download QPDF if you've already done it or if you have the regular Adobe PDF maker that's fine too. But once you've created the PDF of your results here, you're going to come back into Dreamweaver. And of course, you will have saved that file over here somewhere. 
and you're just going to simply hi highlight your phrase and hyperlink to the PDF of your website test results. I'm going to go ahead and close this little session and I'll be back in a moment to talk about your next exercise.